welcome back welcome back guys in this video i just want to show you guys the updated way to add pinia to your nox 3 application and this is coming from a comment that i saw recently where someone was just saying that you know the video that i have on the channel showing how to add and configure pinia is kind of outdated because a lot of stuff changed and they're right right so um let's just jump into it for those of us who don't know pinia is a state management tool for view and by extension nox um in my opinion pinia isn't always needed we can actually use composables and use state to um keep track of our state within our nox application the use state composable we can find a document documentation for it somewhere here let's see uh use state is down here you know and we can keep track of our state in the application with just this composable from nox but a lot of people tend to love pinia so we can just go to the pinia website um it's pinia.viewjs.org click on get started and you can learn everything about pinia here how to use it how to set it up how to you know manage state how to handle getters actions plugins and all that good stuff but because this is about adding it to nox we're just going to jump to the nox documentation and get started so we're just going to open vs code all right we have a folder opened here and we're going to open the terminal and we're going to create a new nox app so that's npx nox in it full stop to tell nox to create the project in this current directory so let's just wait on this to ask us what package manager we want to use any day now any day now ah there we go so we're going to use npm and let's just allow this to install the dependencies and come back once it's done so all the dependencies are installed it's asking us if we want to initialize a git project a git repository i'm going to say no because i'm not going to build a full application with this nothing to post on github at the end of this thing uh now that we have a nox project for components uh everyone loves beautify so let's just quickly add beautify to or next application so we go to the beautify website get started it's going to take us to the installation page we're going to come down to the using nox 3 section um this part is just telling us to create a new nox project and install the dependencies next we should install beautify the v plugin for beautify and mdi font so let's just copy this command go back to vs code paste that in and allow that to run its course Back to the beautify documentation uh it's telling us that we need to add these things to our nox config so let's copy this from here and we're going to go to our nox config and we're going to paste that in let's just minimize the terminal so we're adding beautify to the um transpile array in the build object we are adding we're extending the um, v config and we're adding the beautify plugin and we're telling it to also import the components and we're adding the transform asset urls to this v configuration section right here so let's save that we're getting some red squigglies but this is because we need to actually import these two things so back to vs code and we'll just import them on the top no more squiggly good uh, what we need to do next is create a plugin called beautify so let's just copy this right and we're going to reload vs code and as always i recommend that you install the noxstar extension if you're going to do nox development cool so with the help of the noxstar extension we can just right click this area and select this top option the nox project structure option and it will allow us to check the folders that we want to add to our nox project so i'm going to go ahead and say i want components well not components let's go with layouts pages and stores for now let's just create those you can see where we have the um 
default layout created and an index page created let's just right click and select that option again i forgot to select plugins because that's what we're doing right now so we're going to right click the plugins folder and select the stop option to add a new plugin give it the name of beautify press enter and that will create a new plugin called beautify.ts for us now we're going to go back to the beautify documentation we're going to copy this configuration and add it to our plugin okay so we're importing the um the material icon material design icons font right here the css file we're importing the beautify styles we could also add this to the css array in our nox config but let's just import it here and we're getting this create beautify function from beautify itself within our nox plugin we are going to create that um create the beautify instance and we're going to pass ssr true here because we're using server-side rendering and let's just use the md2 blueprint so we're going to import that from beautify slash blueprint and we're going to get md2 and then we're going to set blueprint down here to md2 so hit save and then here we're adding um beautify to our nux app and i think that's it oh no we actually need to add the v app to our layout i rather add it to the layout than in our app.view file so if we go back to vs code layouts default we can just come here and say v app and wrap our application with that i'm going to also use v main i'm going to wrap my application with this as well I think I need to generate the types in our .nox file, so I'm gonna run this command, npx noxy here. And this will generate some types and do some magic that will allow our nox app to recognize the components from Viewtify, which I think it's doing right now. Cool. So in our app.view, we're going to remove the welcome component. We're going to add the loading indicator component, Nox layout, and Nox page. Cool. Now let's save that. And then we are going to come to the index page. And we're just going to test this thing to see if Beautify, you know, is actually working as it should. So here I'm going to add this app bar. So V app bar. Yep. I'm gonna add an app bar title. Just gonna say Nox um, with Pinia. Let's just save that there. I'm gonna also add the navigation drawer. So we have a little dashboard looking thing. I'm gonna change this to a V container. Put h1 here that says hello save then i'm gonna do npm run dev down here i'm gonna click on this link control click and that should open it in the chrome browser or whatever default browser you're using let's just give this some time to start up and once it's up we can see we have our layout here you may have noticed that little uh flash where the jar just jumped out of nowhere not sure how to fix that i've heard people complain about that flash and that jump i'm not really sure how they actually plan to fix that but beautify is working we have no complaints in our browser console here and none in our terminal so good beautify is added to our project and it's working all right next to add in pinia so now we come to the nux section of the pinia documentation and it's telling us to add Pinia and the Pinia Nux module. module. So let's copy this command right here. Paste it in. Install. And then according to the docs, if you get this error, just add this bit to your package.json file. But next you actually want to add the Pinia Nux module. So we didn't get an error. So we can actually go to our Nux config paste in the Pinyanox module in the modules array right here. 
cool now in order to get the auto imports to work properly we have to generate the types again so we have to run that npx noxy prepare command again so let's run that and this is how you actually add pinya to your nox tree application very easy so all of the well most of the um composables are auto imported so you can see here where use pinya is auto imported define store store to refs accept hmr update so all of these things are auto imported by default we no longer have to tell pinya to import them and i think that's what changed from the last video in the last video i actually showed you how to to set up the imports manually but pinia fixed this so that's great so now we're going to go ahead and create our first store yeah so let's close these and we're going to right click on stores and we're going to say select a new store and this option will only be available if you're using a nookstar extension so again install the nookstar extension so we'll click on this and let's just name this store global because we're just going to showcase how we can use Pinya here. And by default, the NuxR extension gives us a template that imports defined store from Pinya. But we don't actually need to do this because it's also imported by Nux. Yeah. Um, another thing that you want to do is to enable hot module replacement for your store. So we can click on this link down here and copy this bit. Once that's copied, you can come to the end of your store, paste that in, and we're going to pass this value in to the accept HMR update function. Save that. Now in here, we have two ways of creating stores. We can use the, um, the new composable setup method way, or you can go with the classic um, vuex like way. The Let's see, defining a store. The recommended way is actually using the setup stores. Yeah. Um, you can leverage the composition API this way. Um, but if you want to stick to the options way of doing it, you know, you can always define it like this, where you have a state um key and then you know, just an object that returns your state, get us object as well as an actions object. Cool. So we're going to use this um, way of using Pinya, where we can use ref, computed, and all of that good stuff. So here we can define a state. So let's say we have a car title. It's going to be a ref. That's an empty string by default. Uh, let's say we have uh, a getter. And this is just a computed property so we're gonna say const um read title i can spell that correctly and this is just gonna be a computed property and if we don't have the title value we're just gonna return hello but if we do have the title value, then we're going to say hello plus the value of the title. Yeah. And of course, you want actions. So this is just a random function. This is going to say hello. And it's going to take a name. I'm going to set a default value for this name. Let's say stranger is the default value. Yeah. And all this function is going to do is alert. Um, hello to the name that's passed in now in order to use these values um, inside or outside of the store you will have to return them here in this object so we're going to return the title we're going to return the greet hello getter and the say hello function from this global store yeah now in order to use your stores you have to prepare the types again or you can just run the application and that will actually prepare the types for you so we can say in our page let's say we have a component let's move this component the v up bar 
to a different place in our application. So we're going to create a components folder. We're going to create a new component called bar. And let's just paste this here. Yeah. Now, instead of having a static title, we're going to pass in this title that's coming from the Pinia store. And in order to make a value reactive with Pinia in Nux, um, you can destructure it. You have two ways of doing it. You can say const store is equal to the name of the store, which is this. Right. And then you can say store dot title. Yeah. Or if you want to destructure the title from this store and keep it reactive, you can use a store store to refs. I think that's what it's called. Let's check about the documentation. It's called store to refs. Yep. So store to refs, and then we are going to get this store right here. Pass that in. And now we can actually extract this title. Now we're getting the reg squiggly because we have to prepare our types again, but this will be fixed once we run the application. So let's just ignore this for now. So this title right here uh, will be updated as soon as this is updated in the store. Yeah. So in our homepage, we can come here and use that bar component. So let's save it. Uh, let's run our application. So npm on dev. That's running. And in here, we're going to actually update the title that's being used inside of this bar component. So you see, now that we run the application, we have the definitions and no longer have the squigglies. So title is now being imported as a ref, as you can see here. So in the, this index page, we're going to say const and we're going to say title is equal to store to refs. And we're going to use the global store. And then we're going to use the vtex field component from Vutify. And we're going to model it to this title. Now, this is the biggest difference between Vuex and Pinia. Um, in Pinia, in Vuex, you had to create a mutation and then update any state via that mutation. With Pinia, you can just update the state directly. Cool. So let's save that. Let's go to our page. And it's reloading. So now we have no title right here. But as soon as I type something, you can see that it's being updated and this is actually being updated directly in our opinion store. We can actually check that by going to the dev tools here, get started. And we have a Pinia tab right here. So if we click on Pinia, you can see where if we click on store, we have a global store and this value is actually being displayed here. We can edit this value directly in our dev tools right here. So if I should come here and say, you know, um, something like, hello, and press enter, you can see where the value is changed here and it's changing our text field. We have no errors in our console right here and no errors in our terminal. Just a warning. Now this isn't related to Pinia. Good. And the same applies for um, to the functions. If we, let's say we want uh, uh, the uh, chip. And the value here is not going to be the title. The value is actually going to be the greet title computed property that's exported from this store. And just to, so you guys know, we can't destructure functions with the store to refs utility. This will only get you the refs and computed properties from your store. Cool. So the functions or the actions, they have to be extracted normally because there's no need to make this reactive. Cool. So here we can add the greet title. 
inside of this chip. So let's save that and see what's in the browser. So it's saying hello to Carl. Title is Carl. This is being updated real time. Yeah. And that's that's how you actually add Pinny and use it in your Nox3 application. Of course, like I said earlier, the actions can be extracted or used directly. So I can actually do something like this. Let's add a button here. Um, let's call it, let's say, hello. And I can say, I click, oh, click. We want to call use global store. Then we're gonna get the say hello function. And then we're gonna pass in Mike as the name that we want to say hello to. Come back here, click this. It says hello to Mike. So the function is working. Cool. So that's pretty much it. So if you want to use Pinya in your Nox application, that's how you'd add it. That's how you'd use it. And like I said earlier, one post is to GitHub because it's not a full project just a demonstration on how to get things up and running. If you have any questions, just let me know.